classes that conform to the observable object protocol can use SwiftUI's at published property wrapper to automatically announce changes to properties, so any views using the object get their body property reinvoked and stay in sync with their data. That works really well a lot of the time, but sometimes you want a little more control, and SwiftUI's solution is called Object Will Change. Every class that conforms to observable object automatically gains a property called Object Will Change. This is a publisher, which means it does the same job as the at published property wrapper. It notifies any views that observe the object that something important has changed. As its name implies, this publisher should be triggered immediately before we make our change, which allows SwiftUI to examine the state of our UI and prepare for animation changes. To demonstrate this, we're going to build an observable object class that updates itself 10 times. You already met dispatch queue.main.async as a way of pushing work to the main thread. But here we're going to use a similar method called dispatch queue.main.async after. This lets us specify when the attached closure should be run, which means we can say do this work after one second rather than do this work now. In this test case, we're going to use async after inside a loop from 1 through 10, so we increment an integer 10 times. That integer will be wrapped using at published, so change announcements are sent out to any of you that are watching it. Add this class somewhere in your code. Class delayed updater conforms to observable object. At published var value equals 0. In it, for i in 1 through 10, Dispatch queue dot main dot async after deadline dot now plus double i self dot value plus equals one. To use that, we just have to add an at observed object property in content view, then show the value in our body, like this. At observed object var updater equals delayed updater. Text value is updater.value. When you run that code, you'll see the value count upwards until it reaches 10, which is exactly what you'd expect. Now, if you remove the app published property wrapper, you'll see the UI no longer changes. Behind the scenes, all the async after work is still happening, but it doesn't cause the UI to refresh anymore because no change notifications are being sent out. We can fix this by setting that notification manually using the object will change property I mentioned earlier. This lets us announce the change whenever we want, rather than relying on at publish to do it automatically. Try changing value to this. Will set object will change dot send. Now you'll get the old behavior back again. The UI will count to 10 as before, except this time we have the opportunity to add extra functionality inside that will set observer. Perhaps you want to log something, perhaps you want to call another method, or perhaps you want to clamp the integer inside value so it never goes outside the range. It's all under our control now.